for normal. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. <gasps> Suddenly, his body was gone. So, this is Alan Wake. Um, do I reverse the controls? No, I don't. Do I? No. Right, anyways, guys, I, um, Ginger Gamer here. This is uh, Alan Wake for you. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick go around and see what this game's about. See if you like it, if you want to buy it. Maybe buy Remedy Games. Pretty cool company. Right, let's go. Something important waiting for me there. The lighthouse now. I feel like that fucking program with K um talking animals. Night time. Oh, ally. There's a lighthouse. Here is the hooded creature. Oh, and he's there. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think oh. you can just make up stuff? I guess I gotta run out of his way now. Run it, or walk in. Oh, walk, run. Do something. Oh, fall. Things missing poster. Oh, yes. Larry, I to jump. Yeah. You missed your deadline. You can dodge any attacks. Damn. Oh, ow, okay, bad dodge. Again, dodge the attack. Oh, oh, bad dodge. I realize that the 
hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Yeah. Okay. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own? Oh, I'll down the front sprint. Turn out of the way. Oh, light bulb's gone. No, that bulb's gone. Running. Be tired now. Bloody lighthouse. I can trail across. What? Oh, across the rickety bridge. But where's the safe? It does a high bar on the guy. Oh, that's lucky, wasn't it? Let's do it. Oh no! Stop! No! God damn it, die! No! 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 <laughs> There was no way out. I can't see eye television. Hold on. Oh, one, two, three, four TVs. How many TVs is going to need? Is open. Oh. Can I go this way? Nope. All right. Safe haven. Light on, no door. Light. Yeah. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. It's a battery. Ah, there we go. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be oh, saved. He's gun. still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, the gun. The gun. Now. You'll now. Okay. 
Yeah, achievement. Face the light. Reload. Oh, say this. Okay. That's what you call brilliant game design. Hi. There we go. Two. Hour. Get down. Got the flag on. I guess Mr. Logan is just like a super powered gun. I go. Oh. Yeah. Very good. That was health. That was his own. That was fine, isn't it? This blurry effect. Oh. Oh, he's with fly gun. Oh. Drop. Oh. Jesus. Runs the what? Runs the light. Runs the light. Runs the light. Runs the light. Ah. The light. Run. Oh, no. This is all I'm going to go there. Right, run. Run to the other way. Oh. I'm oh, not just about this bit. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, coffee. That helps. Light it. Everyone's best friend, isn't it? Got coffee down upstairs. Okay, maybe not. Come on. Shit. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here.
Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi, old man. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. <laughs> if you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Maine, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too He's not even taking pictures of me. of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Let's get back to the car. Not the car. In my car. You're not maybe the passenger side. Sounds like you've got a lazy bastard for a husband. That's strange. <laughs> we need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for- Mr. Wake, uh, Alan, Wake. Oh God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. Follow this part. Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? 
coconut again? You disgust me. What? Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Nah. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. Oh. You need to give it a good solid whack. Whack it. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Yay, coffee. Yay, creepy person. In the toilet. Yes. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Mail toilet. Knock. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Okay. Thanks. Nice. Oh, she's not as creepy in real life. Oh, in out of cutscene mode. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Why do they keep talking to me as I walk away? I don't know. Can I walk now? Oh, I just you're going to say something to me. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I know. This really ought to be fixed. Sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> Still going? The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Everybody seems so nice and happy and cheerful. Bye, Mr. Mission accomplished. The key? and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on or vacation, vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Bad man here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while. See those stars winking down at you? Nah, it gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Something all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Well, the cabin's just there. Shouldn't take too long to walk across there, shouldn't it? Come on. Oh, crows again. Bird leg cabin. Strange name. You wouldn't think she was in a hurry, would you? 
Ja. Jag kommer tillbaka. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? A filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? Anybody here? Oh, what's that? Me telling me to go outside. All right. Okay. Like they knew it was gonna take me a while. Games. Well, an old generator had been connected to the power cable. Hey, yeah, it's going. place I told myself I could rest here sleep here and forget about my work I thought we could be happy here Alice all right oh iceman nope me. Thick. Door open. Yay. Right. Alice? Honey? Gone. Yay, coffee. Uh. On the deck. Come on. Old door had played a trick on me. Alice wouldn't have come out in the dark. Not dark though, is it? Still like Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, Jane's out. Jesus. Quick. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. Oh. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. But. But. I want this surprise. All right, where's the study going? Surprise! Alice. Hey. What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn, Alice, you- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not- Oh. Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Damn it. Still gonna be locked. Alice? 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 Whoa. Oh no!
waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Good. Lemon. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Where is it? This way? Up. Oh. Turn over. Oh, no. Okay. Over the path. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Oh. There goes the car. I go. How did the how? Okay. I feel like just climb back up to the road and follow the road. This play with it. Run. Oh, Hello? There's, there's that light again. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Oh look, it's there, yay. One, that's it. Oh, axe murderer. Please, okay. I've been in an accident. First thing you say is we've heard the creature in it or dark creature in the fucking woods. Jesus. Lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Right. Also, I just have the lights on. That's handy enough. Portion. As it is. And jump. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident! I need help! Listen, what? I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky! Please. Beat you. Non refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Ah. Pages, yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. Why? Nope. Because. figure a way out of this. Any second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Most lucky 
doing it. Torch and a gun. Batteries. Good advert for energizer batteries. Oh, revolver ammunition. Non branded. Use the phone. Yes. Hello. Pick up revolver. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Bugging. Bugging me. Oh, that's all. Oh. Here. Power thing. Kick. Oh, that was helpful. Might have just turned the power off everywhere. Yep. This thing's not working. Is that right? Yeah, it's not working. Right. I follow the yellow painting. The painted arrows. The way you have to go. Play gun. Oh, I can hear what's the price. Build a fan. Where am I going now? This way? The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go. Yeah. But I had no choice. I oh. had to get to the gas station. from the diner. What the hell was that? Oh, the nightmare. Like other chapters called. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Yeah, I'm crossing it now, mate. Jungle game right now. Oh, this way. Mm, oh, coffee. Left it out. Where that? Oh, this way. Oh, there might be a creepy guy. Either or. Stucky was still 
out there in the dark, stalking me. They're all stuck, eh? Yeah, I stop. I walked the other way around as well. Oh, I was over here. Where's that? Oh no. Oh, you stuff. Run, run, run. Oh, they're stuck here. Oh, people. Oh, I missed. Ow. Randomly died on my house. Yep. Randomly died on my house. Ah. Jump. Jump. Proceed at your own risk. Ironic. And. Oh, God, I walk on the next one. Oh, the arrow is pointing that way. Let's go this way. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Any of this? I couldn't stay here. There had hey, thing no box. Up there. Revolver. Every uh, every good box has revolver ammo, batteries in it. Oh, thing. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Oh, can I have it? Yeah, oh. Yeah. Ah. Alright, that was. Ow. Coffee. Demos. There's climbing that thing effortlessly. Quite a point. With all this oh. forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Right, we need to fix the generator. Oh, go to these guys. Jesus, bloody crap. Inside the battery. Oh. Okay. Got a feeling Saki's gonna be some sort of boss. The area. That is why I'm keeping the fair gun bullet. Oh. Yeah, gives a war symbol. Reach the path above. No. Yeah, page. Got gun. Hello. Seriously, put the shotgun inside himself. Always a good joke to have. Right. Yay. Move the log lid. How cool is that? Perfect area. Oh, okay. Can I jump? That'll 
clue where I'm going right now. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I know most of you are probably in the same spot. Oh, all right, stuff. Oh, all right now. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Coffee. Can I Stucky? Where is he? Oh, let's come up my bear. Where did this just come from? That's it. Yes. Bugs. Come this way. Do do do. Yes. Petrol station, as we call them in Europe. Stop. Let's go towards the creepy forest. Oh, hello. Walking through this forest. Oh, apart from. Oh, brilliant. Where's the stop with creepy foreigners? Yeah, ish. That forest is a little bit creepy. Yeah, hey, Paige. Last one I see. Come on, where are you? Coffee. I got a feeling you're being chased. Come on. Reload. Okay. I have no bullets on them. Brilliant. Is this the way? No. I'm bad on that. Oh, what? I just killed them. Seriously, where I'm supposed to go? A bit tired and bored now. Come on. Oh, up here. Up the hill. Yay, light. 
to recharge my battery. Health, sorry. An emergency box to get flashlights and batteries and revolver ammunition. Nice little checkpoint there, thank you. Game, um, job. Oh, I'm crazy. There's a lot of equipment around, isn't there? Oh. Caution, proceed at your own risk. Oh no. Hurry. No B. Right, right, right. Nope. Okay. Where is it? <gasps> Look out behind you! Batteries, some ammunition and stuff, and door. Swinging things. This is going to be some sort of boss battle. Da -da -da. Yay, Chucky. Chucky. Oh. Mom, die. There we go. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. Huh. Really worth it. First thing. Oh yeah. It's I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Yeah, it's the Deer Fest. 
Not to be confused, confused with beer fest. Right. Round? Get in? After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. Pages. Oh, I'm missing all of them. One. How unlucky is that? What? Not all of them are popping that there. The garage yeah. was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I'm on TV. I can feel the presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell a perfume in the room. I'll reach for it. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. Right now, she's lost. Oh, the big tires. The open tires facing inwards. Read. Beer fest. Best parade. TV anymore? I'll oh, find a phone. What? Put a phone inside. Surely. Oh, there it is. Use the phone. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? To listen? We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Colored clown, they call the Sandman. Tiptoes to my room every night, and just to sprinkle stardust and a whisper. Go 